wonderful Sunday. We are back in the car as usual. My husband has on a mask because of course he has surgery Tuesday the 20th so he has to keep his face covered while he's out. So yeah, we are on our way to the park. Hopefully the park is not packed because you know well it's a nice day so i'm pretty sure it's gonna be people there but hopefully we can get you know some time in at the park i don't know but that's what we're doing currently and yeah what's happening <laughs> okay so yeah um yeah like i said though not doing much today today is pretty much a just like more so of a chill day like where we go out in the world it's a chill day like it always is yeah we don't we're not don't going to events every day we're not doing like the typical things that you see some youtubers going to events doing all these things every day that's not what we do we we live in a legit calm life calm realistic lifestyle you know what i'm saying so you ain't gonna not putting on if no you ass. yeah i'm not putting on no show for nobody so if you subscribe to my channel you're gonna get the real all the time because i don't have time for all the you know other stuff where people like to act like they're going somewhere every minute i'm not i'm not living that lifestyle you know what i'm saying when i do get there then i'll you know let you guys in on that but um that's why they gotta hit that subscribe yeah. button <laughs> like i said i'm just living a regular life and showing what we doing out here in these in these streets that's what i'm doing look at that line of cookout cookout's line is always like long cookout always has a long line i don't even know what i would be in the mood for anyway even if i wanted to eat something you know what i'm saying yeah even if i thought about eating something i don't know what i would want you know what I'm saying? Like, ain't that crazy? Like, yeah, well, maybe um, Long John Silver ain't happening right now. Oh, no. Um, that definitely ain't happening. And it's on Mary. So, like I said, though, we just... Listen to that video she listening to again. Yeah, y'all probably hear the same videos every, every um, mm -hmm. thing because my daughter, she wears the same videos out every time. Good. So, Day in the morning, man. <laughs> you pretty much gonna hear the same videos. Like... <laughs> We have to keep her away from the Halloween videos because Yeah, I'm not really into letting her, her watch a, a bunch a of scary person. Cause when she I mean she be acting like she's scared and stuff after watching that Halloween crap. I can't allow it. Sorry. It's not that we don't I wouldn't take her trick or treating with her cousins because I will. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is like her age, she's watching these Halloween things, got these scary songs and stuff and and I have to, we have to stop her from watching it. Be up at night thinking she's seeing something and yeah. seeing nothing. So yeah. That's what it is with the beans. So yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what that is. People going the same way. It's so maybe, weird. Maybe everybody going to walk through. Um, yeah, so when I'm we get, to, be when I'm we get to the park, I will bring you guys back in. And I don't have us walking the trail. So, so I'm doing it Tuesday, Thursday this week, Tuesday, Thursday next week. And then I'll, I'll be pretty open. So, look at this. Walking the trail. Walking the trail. Mm -hmm. Right here, baby. I'll take these glasses off for one. So you guys can see me. I wish this thing would sit up right here. So, yeah. What's up, y'all? 
Hi. Thanks. Oh, baby. Say hi to the camera. Say hi to the camera, baby. Say hi, baby. She ain't even looking. She she just missing all the points that I'm trying to make. <laughs> Why are you looking so sad? I know, Mom. Let's put a smile on your face. Make the world a better place. I tried to tell her not to bring all this crap, you know, so we could walk freely, but she wanted to. She just had to bring all of it. Now we can't really enjoy ourselves, you know, but. It is what it is. Women don't listen, and that's just how it go. Um, <laughs> so Say what? So you can see. Hello. It is a lot of people out here. You having fun, baby? I'm here for my glasses so I can see. Oh. You having fun? I bought her stroller in case she gets tired. She is a toddler. They do get tired. You ain't gotta run, baby. Good day. We ain't walking this fast, though. All right, you guys. We had a great walk. Now it's time to eat. And I am hungry. You and me both. I was hungry. So now it's time to eat something, which I don't know what. It's gonna be, we're gonna either eat Jamaican food or um, Chipotle. I don't really want Chipotle, do But we wanted to see about that Jamaican, didn't we? They was, yeah, we had a good walk. Our daughter fell asleep on the walk. And I just, I had to stop recording just because, you know, we just wanted to enjoy the walk. Talk to you guys a little. Hello, you guys. How are you guys doing? Today is Friday. Oh, okay. Because I, I was just going to pray for her. Now I was just going to smack her. <laughs> These, um. I'm going to pray for But, her. yeah, today is a really nice day. It's a little windy, though, but it's pollen like. pollen blowing everywhere, too. Yeah, it's like pollen-y. Whatever it's pollen. 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 <laughs> I'm making up words now. It's, it's pollen out it here. Why is it dark? And then when I look at the footage, it's still dark. Yeah, it's kind of dark there. What's up, everybody? So yeah, we really decided that we wanted to get out the house. I mean, there ain't much to do at all. Ain't nothing to do. Like I told y'all, where we live, you know, it well, ain't really. I'm trying like to get to what my shirt say. ATL. Yeah, so like I said, that's At right now. We're just gonna get. I think I wanna go. We're gonna get some cookout, and I ain't really getting nothing. I'm just getting like some fries and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm just getting a, a chill wine with no ice. We're sitting here, waiting in this line. It's just ridiculous. Like I feel like I need to write notes out because that way I don't get sidetracked with certain things. I can stay on subject and kind of just give people. You know something that they can hold on to in some way when things just don't seem to ever look up you know because i mean believe it or not there's some people out here where things just don't ever seem to go right at all i don't care what they do what they say nothing ever goes right so you do have those situations as well and i want to speak to those people but i also want to speak to the people where things always go right because i want them to actually be able to see that you have to have a sensitive side you have to have a a heart for people you know you can't you know just because everything works out for you don't mean you can't be sympathetic to or the people just assume that it works out that for it works out for else. everybody so yeah there was a situation one time with this famous person who was born into wealth born into riches uh just assumed assumed that uh, other people which we, which would be known as the the lower class working people are uh, looking for a handout and a lot of people attacked her on social media because really she could not relate to those people because she was a rich kid she she her dad famous her, her whole family is famous her uncle's famous like everybody is famous so she couldn't understand why certain people didn't have it 
So it's she made a, did, so a she negative made, comment. Yeah, what did she say? What did I, she I say? I don't right? exactly remember. That's why I'm not going to quote she, she made. She, she, she just she made a comment. She said something to the effect that, uh, you know, you, you y'all just go people out and stop looking in. for a handout and all this well, kind I of can't, stuff. We can't put specifics on it if we don't know. But so. what I will say about this, you can't really get upset too much with people that don't. You know, if you come, if you're born into wealth, it's not your fault. Because really, your your people should do everything possible, you know, uh, to make sure that you have a good life. And then sometimes our people were doing good things, but somebody geared off into another direction and upset it, uh, what God was trying to do. Hold on, y'all. I'm about to order this. No, food. no. Okay. Uh, you, don't, you don't agree with that, baby? <laughs> Myla. Yeah, so... We are currently out here at the park. Just, we like to come to the park, you know. It's a nice day, it's windy, but it's like nice weather. You know what I'm saying? Like it's bearable, it's doable. So I can deal with this. So like I said, we're just out here having a good day. You having fun? You always want to get on the swing, girl. You want to get back on there? Well, that's what we came out here for. Do, you, do I need to lift her? But you healed over, overnight almost. Oh, oh. What? She was starting to bump. She was going so high. <laughs> so, yeah. Let me talk to your people for a second. No. <laughs> I want to talk to y'all. I got a message. You know what evaporation is? It's where hot and dry condition, which may cause the soil to pull away from your foundation. And I want you to know that a foundation is usually, or the soil is usually close to the foundation. So the soil plays as a support system to hold up the foundation. That sounds like people in your life that are supposed to hold as a support system to hold you up in your foundation. But too many people are what we call evaporating people. They cease to exist based upon the circumstances at hand. They are hot people. They get hot with you, especially when you're trying to build your life on something. When you're trying to change your life for the better. You know, you're trying to break out of what the family is used to. You're trying to stand for something all of a sudden. And uh, so people get hot with you, they become offended with you. And then you got some people that are just dry. You try to give them some information and they dry. They ain't got no advice to give to you. They just, just dry, just like it said. So we got these evaporating people that we need to get out of our life. Remember, you have good soil and bad soil. Most of the time, in our life, we got bad soil around us. So we, need, we got to weed that out in order for us to have a good support system and get the good soil. Get people of, of like-minded people that if you if you want to start a business, you need to get around people that uh, are business-minded, people that want to want to see you at sale. You know, you don't want to be around people that come around to, with their, oh, you're starting your little business stuff. No. Get away from them. Can I get an amen? I said, can I get an amen? Say, woo hoo hoo <laughs> Hello. Yo, I got my camera back. Today we gotta take care of some business, and then we're going to the Zulk Pond to feed the books or whatever. But we gotta take care of the business first. Take care of the business first, then go to the pond. So that's what we're gonna do. <sighs> yes, but um, I wish I could have showed y'all what I got on. I feel kind of cute today. I don't know. It's a little hot here, surely. It's a little hot. But it's like very hot, so I'm glad I did not put on a coat. My husband was like, "Don't get a, don't put on no coat because it is hot." And I was like, "I got long sleeves on." Though. But I do got it. Look like I got on a turtleneck, but it's a, it's this shirt. When I say this shirt is thin, this shirt you can like see my skin like through the shirt, like it's so thin. But then I put on this over top of it to kind of, cause I ain't got no bra. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really a bra girl. You know? Hold on. I y'all can't see me. I'm not really a bra girl. So since I ain't got no bra and I got on my little head, and I don't know, it stands for something. But I'm, I'm gonna say it stands for Prunty Baby, cause that's my last name. That's why I got it. P for Prunty, Prunty. 
Um, so yeah, like I said though, we are just out in the bed, taking care of some bees. Um, and then we're going to get a little kid. So we can get a little kid, you know what I'm saying? But, um, So that's what I'm gonna do. Get those done. We're gonna turn on some air because it's a little yeah. hot. And um, cause it be bees. No, don't turn down that low. Um, it be bees up out bees like flying around and stuff. I need to make sure I'm able to. I don't like bees, and I don't like you know. I don't like bees. Just know that. guys we just went to once upon a child to try to sell some stuff and they be trying to skimp you on what you selling like this this person tried to t t tell me now mind you i have a bunch of brand new stuff that my some stuff my ch children had even wore and some other like i had like a four moms uh like sleeper thing like what the child sleeps in they they ain't even try to take that because of y'all it was the silliest reasons ever like i said i was like 68 dollars that's what they try to give me i was like now nah, y'all y'all playing y'all playing in my face because we thought we needed it but you know our kids never really yeah we got it when we when we had my my love and I, I thought we was gonna use it and she was gonna sit in it and play and sleep and stuff no None of that happened. So we just had it and we've been carrying it around everywhere with us. And so we've been trying to sell it. I probably just need to hold on to it, let's to be honest. Hold on, hold on. But honestly, I still got clothes to get together for Play-Doh's closet that I haven't gotten together yet. You will not get this stuff for $68, especially brand new. Okay, you guys we are finally back home we did not end up going to the duck pond because we were tired we've been out for a few hours so we want to get home but yeah it's been a long day things done around here for show so i don't know um i wanted to go searching on amazon because i actually wanted to get a new tripod for this camera because it's like this one is just crap 
Um, and that's on Mary. I'm gonna keep the Monty Hunty. My husband out sitting outside, so I don't like being out there getting sports. Seven eight nine, so little mac and cheese thing, like her little snack thing. She. Lord, it's hot. Hello, you guys. How you guys doing this beautiful on this beautiful Monday? Welcome back to my channel. Do not mind the way I look. Look a mess. Um, I'm kind of kind of just been up taking care of some things. I actually look like a mess, but um, we gonna ignore that. But today, this is one of my paintings. This is one of my paintings that I'm that I completed, and we're going to finish the other guys up so you kind of can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to paint this paint, the gloss. You see it? I don't think I can see it. It's not coming in clear. Well, this is the gloss kind, y'all. The white. So, yeah. Now we're going to get started. Here. So, what I do is, I just kind of pour the paint onto the canvas. I actually need this brush, and I need a smaller brush to get the corner. I need to... Um, it is very, very early. Let me get y'all the time. It is 8.09 on a Thursday. And it's a rainy, rainy, like, gloomy day. And I look a mess. But I received some packages. Um, I ordered some stuff from Walmart. And I ordered some stuff from Tim. Tim Timu? Tim Whatever. It's a new place, I guess. Kind of like a Shein type of situation. But, yeah. It's, you know. So yeah, it's kind of like a Shein situation. So I got some stuff from there. Um, I don't mind my appearance, you guys. Like I said, I'm just getting up. So, and I'm a little bit swollen, so yeah. But yeah, I got these pink um, sheer panels for my daughter's, my girl's room for their I have to get the waiting on the rod, the curtain rods, um, for my bedroom and her bedroom coming from Walmart as well. I have so much stuff that it's coming. So, um, but the stuff from Timu that came is a bunch of like pillowcases because all of my stuff in my room will be on my bed will be white. So I got this and then it has the zipper. I mean, I just thought this was cute to go on the one pillow that I have. And I just got some old regular white pillowcases um, to do that. So yeah, but I just, I'm like so freaking like, like tired, you know, this morning. I'm like, man, should I make some coffee? What? But I don't know if I even want coffee. Um, I got a lot of things to do. I do have like, some things I want to get done today. Um, and like I said, I'm still waiting on some stuff to come in the mail that will be here tomorrow. I think one thing is coming today and then I got some other stuff that's coming. But like I said, my, I need to go do, I mean, of course I need to get some groceries, but I was thinking to have them delivered, I don't know. Um, and I may do like a little grocery haul, we'll see. Um, let's see. 
I have a thing in my phone called to in my notes where I made it said to do today like things I want to do in that day is I just literally cleared out once I'm done with the things I've done the day before and I make my new list um I need to make both beds I need to finish my paint artwork situation I need to dust my whole place because my place is to be dusted um I need to brush my teeth and my girl's teeth get our teeth brushed and I need to do my skincare and I probably I was I got on here I want to do my makeup today but I don't know if I'm gonna, gonna do it cuz yeah I, I don't know I'm just right now I'm just not looking my best like braid my hair down for my wig or put it up in a ponytail my hair put a ponytail and put add a ponytail or something I don't know it's one of those um that's the stuff that I want to do today. Don't know if it's all going to get done. Pretty much like I make a list every day and I try to get everything done on my list. And that's what I've been doing so far and it's been working. Just to kind of give myself some like guidance on what needs to be done or whatever. Trying to get stuff done as soon as I can because, you know, you can't not do nothing. Right here, I changed this. I like the way this looks better than the one that was there. But I do want to put like something here. Like, and I found something on Amazon um, that I'm going to put there or whatever. But like I said, and I want to get this kind of organized because I just have all my, my clear containers that some of them that I plan on using and they're just all up there. Um, so I have to get that stuff washed and stuff put them and organize or whatever be the case but it just looks like a horrible mess it's just everything just seems to be everywhere so just everywhere like stuff is just every freaking where these drawers i got some of these already i need to get more can continue to organize that kitchen utensils and i'm gonna change my kitchen utensils to silver so yeah i'm looking for a nice set that i can like my these type of utensils i can put in here so I can put these up because I just want it to be like silver right there. This is out because I'm supposed to be making like a little black cake situation. So yeah. These lights are going to be changed out here. They're going to be going around instead of right here. So yeah. Um, this is my coffee setup. I'm not keeping this. I have a new one. Two new ones that I want. And I'm going to put them in these drawers somehow. And like make it look neat. And I may keep this. I don't know. Because it's not bad but it's for when i want coffee out and i'm have some in the drawers of course and then this is my beautiful new keurig i had to get a new one because the other one was a no it was a bust it was red and it didn't match so i don't use sugar i use vanilla syrup for my coffee i don't care what kind of coffee i make baby i use vanilla syrup okay um it's here this one and it's like a texture feel like like it just and I use a old um pillowcase to make that look like that and I painted it and added gold on the sides and then here got my other one so yeah and I still have to paint right here where I messed up and paint here where I messed up and so then I got And y'all, this is the stuff that I need to complete my living room. I'm either going to do this color or this color um, plot potter for my plant. I need a tall white. So I think I'm going to go with this one. It's on Amazon. And then this bookcase right here is going to go right there. This light, I'm going to get two of these. They're going to go above those two pictures. So, and then this chair is going to go with this desk over there this rug is white and it's going to go here i'm getting a like an 8 by 10 um or bigger area rug for that this right here i was thinking about getting this to put over top of this when i turn this over put it over top of it i don't know if i'm still going to do that i'm not sure yet i have not made up my mind yet so i don't know this here is like a bling um light replacement thing i have one here i plan on putting it right there 
So, and then that will complete this living room. Then I'm done with this living room and we Gucci. This is one of my DIY projects right here. I glued this to this. I still have to paint this vase. So, yes, I have a lot of stuff to do, y'all. I still have to paint this vase and I will get to it. But I did, I made these pictures from scratch. I just took a white small canvas. I had these just laying around. So, I took them and I cut off the little stems to the... The, the fake um, flowers and I added them in here added some silver things and I glued this to it after I was done to give it some definition and I just love the way that came out it just looks so nice and I'm thinking about getting a couple of bar stools from right here I just don't know what color I'm stuck on the color I'm like I should do black right here don't mind this this is my look La ladder to because these ceilings are very very tall so they go up there um so yeah right here i just want to put like some bar stools i just don't know what color or how big they should be i don't want anything bulky i want something very like narrow and very comfortable but i just want something like right here like and i do like i want to do black but i'm not sold on black i'm thinking about doing white but i'm not sold on white either so that's the dilemma since this third bedroom is like our office because our girls are sharing a room so we're going to turn this into like our office slash prayer room slash um like guest bedroom i got on that i put on the wall i look a mess right now i know don't mind this boo don't mind it. but yeah this is the mirror it's very very heavy <laughs> and then this is the idea in here i was going to do a day bed but i changed my mind on the day bed because i feel like it's just going to be way too big so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a sofa that lets out as a bed in here <sighs> that way it's a lot smaller it's just more compact it makes more sense because this is an office space um slash um i guess bedroom and i got the black um computer chair with the gold that i want to put at my desk that i'm going to put in here like i said y'all it's just going to be so cute in here it's going to be black gold and like white it's going to the vibes are definitely going to be in this room for sure this is going to be very nice so Getting it complete is a whole nother thing. Yeah. Hello, you guys. How you guys doing today? Doing Welcome to back to my channel. Um, we are currently out taking care of some business. Was, Nothing was, major, though. Was, just like was, was, a few things. And then um, okay. we'll be going back home because we're going to, you know, like I, watch I some movies. Y'all, we're going to check out this new movie called The Girl That Believed in Miracles. Uh, it's on Pure Flix. I, I believe it's gonna be a good watch. Yeah, so we're gonna do that. And so, yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. Hey! Say hey, babe. I say oh, yeah. hey! Hey! <laughs> hey. <laughs> I don't feel like talking. <laughs> yeah, of course you don't. He just came out to the park to do a little walking. Of course. And you can't see my my face my I, it's like my glasses have that um what is this stuff called that when your glasses go dark transition transition yeah so, so you have transition yeah Frame. transition come on y'all walk honey so yeah we are out here at Freedom Park just about to do some walking and yes I'm really liking the way. I don't have on makeup, but I have on concealer, and I kind of like the way it looks. But <laughs> no. So, Mala, if you gotta pee, you gotta say something, okay? You can... come here. Come here. They're going to throw some away. See you, <laughs> Mara. Say hi. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> so 
so yeah. We are out here at the park. We are out here at the park. Just trying to enjoy some of our day. So. So she, look at them holding hands. I'm back home from the park. So yeah, I am currently in my bathroom um, after a fun day at the park. I took we took our girls to the park for a couple of hours, but we're home. So yeah. I didn't record much. I need to get better with recording and just, you know, but I, I, I need to get better with it. That's the bottom line. Just taking off all jewelry. We're probably going to sit, watch some movies, chill, nothing much. I have concealer around my chin, my nose, like just a line down my nose, and I have it under my eyes. I don't have um, foundation on at all. To me, it's like a makeup, no makeup look. Um something quick when you need to just run out the house um, so I didn't do a full face today because I didn't feel like it okay, so um and plus my girl you know they want to go to the park they want to play and stuff so that's what we focused on today about to get comfortable and we're going to be watching some movies because you know what I'm saying that's just what it be like get this makeup from under my eyes I need to give me some more concealer too. But y'all, I will probably talk to y'all tomorrow. Hello you guys, how are you guys doing today? Like, and today, Oh, it feel good out here. We're just taking care of some business and we're gonna get back home and just have a chill day at the house. It's a gloomy day but it feels good it's just it's just a chill kind of day you know what i'm saying is that a graveyard huh is that a graveyard that's amazing how that leads out to here it's like wow but um so yeah we're not doing much say hi Mara and that Mala. Means, look you know what that means that means when we here instead of going down there <laughs> Hello, you guys. You guys cannot see me. So, through a uh, parking lot. Um, where was? What area is this? Matthews. We're in Matthews Pineville area. Hey, <laughs> you should see her eyes. Could she be turning? Can <laughs> she give me that? consistent and I've been kind of getting down because I don't have the views but the thing is I need to be more consistent with my vlogs whatever and stuff like that taking more seriously and um I just don't I don't know why but and I like vlogging and I like you know doing this but it's like I just have not been consistent at all y'all so it's been like, like not good at all um I could have been so much further along by now if I had to just stay consistent and done what I needed to do or whatever. Like I said, but to be honest with y'all, I don't do much. Like, I don't, I'm not going out to eat all the time. I'm not um, going to the club. I'm not doing those things. So if I'm honest, it's like, 
I'm just, it's like I'm not doing anything. So most of the time I'm like at the house, I'm like, I don't have nothing to record. But I do need to pick up the camera even if I'm not doing anything just to kind of just say hi. You know, some people like those vlogs where people sit down and talk and stuff like that and they ain't doing much. Most of the time I'm not doing much, you know. Right now we just so happen to be just out and about, you know what I'm saying? We ain't doing much, ain't important, but we just doing a little something and it's like I just need to find myself recording while we're doing these, you know, doing this because why not, right? Like why not? I mean and let's be honest, I've watched worse vlogs. Vlogs where, you know, less things are happening, it's boring, you know. So yeah, you just have to be consistent or whatever when it comes to YouTube. You can't, and I'm learning it, trying to learn it anyway. I ain't quite got it yet, I'm still learning. You know, you just need to be real consistent, make sure you put your content out. I gotta do their hair, so. Myra, say hey girl. Watch out, y'all. Don't be getting too close to nobody's car. Where are you going? You know, I found a, I found out that they have they have a you know how we was transferring the footage from here to the computer? Where are you going? My baby. Oh, baby. Say hey. Hey. Say hey. 